Cover crops are becoming increasingly popular in vegetable cropping systems. Given their wide array of characteristics and functions, they form an integral part of vegetable landscapes. But before we delve more into this topic, what are cover crops? Cover crops are plants seeded into agricultural fields, either within or outside of the regular growing season, with the primary purpose of protecting, improving, and maintaining soil quality and health. They also provide benefits to succeeding cash crops, which could be vegetables, fruits, or other field crops. Today we will be learning about oilseed radish, a cover crop that belongs to the Brassicaceae family. The following video will provide in-depth information about how it is grown and managed, and will also assess its performance in the field. Hello, my name is Ajay Nair. I am an assistant professor in the Department of Horticulture at Iowa State University. Our lab uh, is uh, focusing on tools and techniques which uh, vegetable growers can incorporate in their production systems so that they can be sustainable. And one of the tools uh, which we focus on is cover crops. Now, uh, growers have a lot of options to choose when it comes to cover crop, depending upon when their field is open. So one of the cover crop, which is the highlight for today's talk, is the uh, oilseed radish. You can see the oilseed radish patch behind me. This crop was seeded uh, in the first week of August and at a seeding rate of about 12 pounds per acre. Today is October 16th. It's about two and a half months uh, since we seeded the cover crop. Uh, oilseed radish acts uh, uh, as a great cover crop uh, for a number of reasons. Uh, number one is weed suppression. So if you walk with me inside the plot here, and let's just open up a patch here for you to see what the soil looks like and you can see that there's absolutely no weeds in there it has suppressed, suppressed weeds successfully so weed suppression is uh, definitely one of the positives the other part is the taproot system of this crop so I'm going to pull one of the radishes if it comes out easily yes it did and you can see the taproot system here so uh, with such a taproot system going into the soil it's breaking soil compaction so uh, we are aerating the soil and there's more channels for the earth firms and the other microorganisms to go through so and also uh, crops which are in the brassica family such as yellow mustard oil seed radish they act as biofumigants uh, they produce compounds called isothiocyanate so when their tissue is crushed and when we till it back into the soil those isothiocyanates go and uh, act as a biofumigant they fumigate the soil so if there are issues with some uh, pathogens in the soil nematodes uh, that can be uh, taken care of uh, uh, with oil seed radish so you should uh, plant it uh, at least uh, six weeks before the first killing frost so this was planted a little earlier in the in the beginning of august this was part of a, a grant program from SARE, uh, the PDP grant in which we invited the growers, the extension person, NRCS and the Ag Department folks to come out here and take a look at the cover crop and understand what it is. Dig it out and try to learn more about how and when uh, this can be integrated uh, into a vegetable production system. So you saw the weed, uh, number of weeds in here, um, almost nothing and we're going to walk over to another plot, a lot of red root pigweed have some lamb scotter uh, problems too so as a grower we do not want our land our, our, our fields to be left barren or, un, uh, or without any cover and you see what could happen as compared to a crop such as oilseed radish uh, which uh, can smother weeds it can uh, break compaction and it can also add organic matter to summarize oilseed radish as a cover crop can provide multiple benefits Two unique benefits include their ability to suppress soil pathogens and to break soil compaction. We hope that you found this video to be helpful. Good luck with your future growing seasons, and don't forget to cover your soil with cover crops. For more information, contact Dr. Ajay Nair at Iowa State University or visit www.sare.org. We would like to thank North Central SARE and other regional partners who collaborated with us on this project.